Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My name is Dale. Today, I want to show you how to put square stock into your lathe using a four jaw chuck. So you think putting a square item into the lathe is really easy. Well, it is and it isn't. You have to have a four jaw chuck, of course. The challenge here is this stock is actually not square, it's rectangular. But the same principles apply, and I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to set up a gauge here. We've got a stare at 196. We've got a nice, beautiful kit here. And why I'm using this is because it has this extra arm that I can attach to it and get inside a circumference. Now, if you think about if I needed to do something round and indicate the inside surface, I can do it with this. Well, I'm going to set up to do this square block. Now we're going to simply come in here, put the block in. If you didn't see my other video on how to do round stock, you should take a look at it. I'll put a, a link up here for it. But we're going to simply just tighten this in. We're going to line the top of the jaws to the top of the surface. See how it lines up? Actually, it's lining up pretty good. Okay, we're a little off there. I'm going to back that up a bit. We have our stock roughly in place. Now we have to get measurements. This is where it becomes a little different than how you would normally do it. Is normally we'd read on the outside surface. Well, what we want to do is develop an inside surface that we can work with. The reason is if I bring this needle over on top, well, every time I rotate, I've got a high point to deal with. But if I can put it inside and indicate it, well, we eliminate that problem. So we're going to simply use some tape, some aluminum bars I got here. You can use anything that you want for this part. And we're just going to simply keep adding them. You'll notice I've put numbers on these, and I put these numbers on there more for you guys than it is for me, just so you can keep track of what I'm doing. Now the reason I like to use tape instead of a rubber band is the tape doesn't have any flexibility in it. If I use a rubber band, I push against that and it's going to have some flex to it and it's going to give me a false reading. So now we're going to bring our gauge in and we're going to actually, because this is not square, I'm going to do the two opposing sides. So let's start out with worth number one here. So let's find out where it's at. We'll line up on one. We're just going to zero it out here. Back to one. Let's see what it looks like. About a thousandths off. Okay, so we have about a twenty thousandths difference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push this in, subtract a little bit. Ninety. So we're pretty close there. Let's give it a little more tweak. Good. So now we've got sides one and three lined up. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with uh, four and two. We're going to just kind of get this needle set into place.
it's that simple to line up a four jaw chuck with square material. Now you're going to have to experiment, you're going to have to uh, just test it, have some fun out there. You can go out there and practice. You actually don't have to have something to turn down. This project, I actually do have to turn something down, and that'll be in the next video. All right, you guys, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Today, I want to show you how to put square stock in a square lathe.